Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Hang on a second. Okay. Okay. I am really, really frustrated right now. This is my fifth time recording this tutorial. Um, I am just I I'm mad. I am very mad. Um, so to save time for this tutorial, I have already created out uh, everything. Uh, from the previous times I've uh, uh, taped this tutorial or recorded it, whatever. Um, yeah, this has just been, oh my gosh, it's had, uh, you know, I'm not even going to explain it to you guys. I'm just really mad right now. I don't even know why I'm doing this again. Um, I guess I just am. But, uh, yeah, this was a request tutorial, and I guess I just don't really want to, um, Want to keep the dude waiting. So anyway, uh, whoever you were, I don't remember his name, uh, dude who requested the tutorial, but I hope this helps you. And uh, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is, uh, in this tutorial, is create an enemy, or show you guys rather, how to create an enemy like in a Mario game. So when you jump on top of him, uh, he dies and your little player kind of does a little hop off his head. All right? So, um, anyway, as I said before, to save time, I have created um, the sprites and objects already, and I'll just go through what I did. All right? So, I, ha I have a, uh, excuse me, player sprite here, a an enemy sprite, all right, and a ground sprite. All right? And then I have a player object, player enemy, or, excuse me, object enemy, and uh, object ground. All right? So, I'll just go through what I did for the player. So for the player, I just did your average stuff, your um, average gravity, collision with the ground, left, right, up movements. Uh, you do definitely need to have the gravity, left, right, and jumping for your player. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now. If you want to know how to do this, um, you can just go to my uh, Game Maker platform tutorial. Uh, it tells you how to do all this stuff, I believe. Even the enemy, I actually believe. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, um, you, what you want to do once you have all your... Uh, Gravity, left, right, and up movements. You want to go at event, collision with your uh, enemy here. And uh, in your collision with your enemy, you want to go to the c uh, control tab, drag over a test variable. It is right here. And in that, you want to put variable for the variable, just type out the word V speed. So basically, the word V, or the, excuse me, the word speed with a V right in front of it, okay? And the value uh, just equals zero, so keep it zero. Operation, uh, for that, you want to put larger than. Uh, by default, it is equal to, but you want to click on that and hit larger than. Okay? So, just hit okay. And then you want to go, uh, staying in the control tab, you want to click and drag over a start of block and an end of block. So, it's basically like that. Okay? So, just delete those. Okay. And then inside of those, you want to go to the move tab. And click and drag a speed vertical and place them inside of the starter block and the end of block. So, um, and in that you want to put a speed for, for the vert, uh, excuse me, for the vert speed you want to put negative four. All right, hit OK. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this is where the gravity comes in. Uh, that's why you have to have the gravity. But, uh, yeah, anyway, next thing that you want to do is you want to go to the main one tab, click and drag over a destroy instance right below the vertical speed. All right, and for this, just uh, check other. Um, basically, what that does is um, it uh, whatever you're colliding with, your player's colliding with, at the time, the destroy instance will apply to whatever it is. All right, so hit OK, which will obviously be your player. All right, and the next thing that you want to do is, uh, so you should have a starter block and in, in those, a vertical speed and destroy instance thing, another end of block. And below that, you want to go to, or stay in the main one tab, rather, uh, uh, click and drag over a restart room. And for the transition, I just, ch uh, excuse me, t uh, uh, excuse me, uh, pick the fade in, fade out. All right, so basically what this is saying is when you collide with your enemy here, um, if you're right above him, if you vertical speed or whatever, if, uh, if your player's right above the enemy, um, whatever, um, so, uh, whatever is inside of here will happen. But if your player's not above your enemy but still collides with him, uh, whatever is below the end of block and start of block will happen, which is restart current room. You could do whatever you want, like uh, maybe take away health or whatever, but uh, I'm just going to do restart current room. 
All right, uh, hit OK. That's all for that. Next thing you want to do is go to your enemy object. And for the uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go add event, create. All right, and you want to go into the move tab, click and drag over and move fixed, and uh, click the right arrow for the speed. I just put three. You could put whatever you want. Uh, hit OK. And uh, you don't have to do the change right in the SBR enemy. I just did that for uh, tutorial purposes. Actually, you don't really want to do that. Um, well, sometimes you might. I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, you don't need to do that. You just need to do the moving one. All right, so this saying when it's the object enemy uh, is created in your game, he'll start moving to the right direction at a speed of three. Next thing that you want to do is you want to go collision with your ground. All right, and just for this, you want to stay in the move tab, click and drag over your reverse horizontal. All right, and just keep it self. All right, so that says whenever he collides with the ground, he will go the opposite way. All right, hit OK for your ground. Obviously, you just need to do a solid. And the last thing that you need to do is create a room from up here. Uh, put your ground at least uh, layered on the bottom like I have here. And uh, put your player and your enemy in the game. All right. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to need to switch to a different view because if I keep it at this wide range of view, uh, you guys will see my desktop, and I just feel weird about people seeing that. So it's not like I have anything bad on there. It's just one of those things about me. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right? Hey, guys, I'm back. Get this out of the way. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I realized something that I did wrong really quick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you'll notice if you played your game already or run it, whatever, that it didn't work. Um, when you jumped on top of your enemy's head with your player, um, y the game, or room rather, ended up restarting, okay? The reason for that is um, I forgot to add this little else here. So what you want to do is you want to go back into your um, player object and go to your collision with your enemy and below, all right, and you should have like this. Um, so uh, basically what you want to do is uh, go to the control tab and add an else. All right, above the restart current room and below the end of lock, okay? Um, or else, uh, whenever you jump on your enemy's head, you will end up dying, okay? So uh, now I'm going to run the game and show you what happens, okay? So I just wanted to get, uh, let you guys know that um, thing or whatever. So anyway, see you guys in just a moment. Hey, guys, I'm back. Okay, so um, now we're in our game here. And uh, as you can see, my uh, player is the white one, and the red one is the enemy that's going back and forth. And uh, as you may notice, when he hits the wall, he just stays in this little position. Um, I purposely did that. Um, I'm not really going to change it because I don't feel like it right now. But um, anyway, you can make those changes to whatever you're like, uh, what a, uh, whatever way rather you want to. But um, anyway, uh, basically what should happen is when your player or um, – uh, enemy or whatever runs into your player like this your game restarts and that fancy little transition uh, appears all right and actually it's not your game that restarts it is just the room okay so um, what you want to do now is um, when you jump on top of your player or not your player your enemy's head he should die all right so here we go and there we go and he, uh, that nifty little bouncing effect kind of uh, comes into play as well so that's the vert speed thing. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, that is um, an enemy tutorial for you guys. Uh, whoever requested this tutorial, I forgot your name, but I hope this helps. And um, yeah, hopefully this will work. And please feel free to request more tutorials in the future. And I'm going to go and get something to eat now because I'm kind of hungry and I'm still feeling a little frustrated about all those other non-working recordings. So yeah, this has been Rex Furry with a game tutorial, finally. And uh, yeah, see you guys whenever.